This is James Allaberry. I'm recording this in the middle of a storm, one that came out of nowhere. My plane's instruments are failing. Radio, communications, GPS, all gone. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus Oliver. He was more than just family. He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archaeologist for Morden Pole Inc., a company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters we're flying over. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go, but he felt he had no choice. My mother is sick, and my father's been gone for years. I think Uncle Seamus took that job because he felt responsible, like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, and Mordenpole's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates in his home office, clues to where he might have gone. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific. But now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Seamus Allaberry was a good man. He didn't deserve whatever happened to him. And if I don't make it, someone out there, please, continue the search. Right, here we go. We are in. A warning light straight away. Oh, if you put your hands on the steering wheel, it might help. Oh, we're going down. Oh, no. Shit! Swim to the closest shore. Okay. Let's get up to the water first, or to the surface, should I say. Our plane blocking the way. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, dude. There. Oh, the waves are just overcoming us here. Keep swimming, man. Checking for sharks. <laughs> A little bit further. Deep breaths. Oh, and there we go. Project Castaway. Welcome. I have been waiting for this for some time, i got to say, guys. Um, whoa, thunder. <laughs> Terrible weather already. Let's see what we've got here. Crab. Crab, again. I've been waiting for this for some time, guys. I've been watching uh, Fooster play a lot of this, loving those videos, and I really wanted to do some survival on the channel. Really, really get into it. So here we go. Um, first thing I bet, check our belongings here. We've got some rope and an orange juice. That is it. Um, our plane over there. So, diving in, what the hell do I want to do? I think we probably need to start by making some fire, I would imagine. Oh, look at that, is that a butterfly? Nice. Uh, right, check our journal here. Whoops. Oh my god, what the hell? Can't punch it, punch it. What is it? Run away. Coming after us still. What the hell was that thing? It's bloody enormous. Okay. Um, I don't seem to be getting any kind of hints whatsoever as to what's happening here. Uh, I don't quite know where that insect has gone. That's not it. Oh shit, that is it. Run away. Okay, right. Think. What would Bear Grylls do? We need. Oh, seeing the shark fins over there. Oh, that is cool. Okay, right. I've seen every episode of Bear Grylls, right? So this should be, in theory, <laughs> easy. Just follow Bear Grylls' leads, man. Right, so I think we're going to need food. Uh, no, we're going to need a shelter. We're going to need a fire, first off. There's something enormous on the horizon there. I don't have a clue what that is. 
let's jump in here. Um, uh, okay. What are all these things here? Oh, right. Stone hammer. Let's make a stone... Or stone axe. I guess that's probably what I would want the first. A stone shard, small stick. Right. Let's go. Keep an eye out for sticks. And for stones. Look at them sharks. They are... Good job we got out of the water, really. Right. Small stick. Perfect. Pick that up. And... Stone. We're going to smash this down here. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. And grab that. And then back into the... Crafting menu. And we're going to get... A stone axe. Perfect. Right. We're not going to do anything just yet. What we need next... Let's look here. Uh is I think a little shelter of some kind um, just a easy to make bed here um, palm frond whatever that is so need a palm tree don't we oops goodness me this palm tree here palm tree bring it down oh god i land on us there. Uh, oh, coconut. I'll have that. Right. E. E. Let's just drop them all. Drop, 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 drop. And then... Uh, I want to pick up the log as well here, actually. I'm just going to pop this over here. Kind of make like a storage section or something here. Nice. Uh, manure. Don't know what that's all about. Uh, another palm tree. Let's get this one here. Down she goes. Oh, lots of logs there. And coconuts. Beautiful. Right. Uh, G, 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 G. G, unit. <laughs> Uh, right, uh, I think here is probably about right for us. Um, I can't seem to... Can I pick this up here? No? Right. Um, back into our journal. Palm bed. Right, let's place it... Uh, oh, I can rotate it as well. That is nice. We don't want it... How about here? Let's pick up these bits here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can only pick up four at a time. Add material. Two, three, four. Bang. Bang. Okay, add material. Okay, we've got a bed. I think fire should be our next thing. So, uh, back into the journal. Fire. Campfire provides light and warmth while offering the ability to cook on stones. Provides light and warmth while offering the ability to cook on the grill. Metal barrel, metal sheet, small stick. Times five. Okay. I'm going to make a barrel stove. Because um, there's two barrels there, which is perfect. So let's hack this up here. I presume I just keep hitting this. or oh, it's going over the poop. We'll just keep hitting away at this, do I? Oh, there we go. Nice large stick, right? One, two. Oh, well, hang on a second. Uh, check my journal because I do. Oops. Uh, I thought I had sticks already. Apparently not. I could have sworn I had sticks. Okay. I'll we'll just keep hacking away. Yeah. Perfect. You've reached level 2 in melee. <laughs> I haven't even done anything yet. Right. Uh, stick. 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 Let's put our fire just kind of here. Metal barrel stove. That's looking good. Uh, place. Right. Add material. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We need a barrel, which we just so happen to have. 
here. Uh, that one's not bad, Nick, is it? Pop this over here. Uh, add material. And then I need metal sheet. Which is... Here. That's perfect. Uh, oh, I need another one. Oh, God. I wasn't counting on that. Cloth. I thought it was one metal sheet. Bugger. Right, okay. We are off to find <laughs> a metal sheet. Broken fan there. Surfboard there as well. Oh, I'll tell you now why I've got an axe. If that B or whatever it was wants to come at me, bring it on. Do your worst one. Oh, something's just washed up to shore. A sofa. <laughs> okay. Look at that on the horizon there. It's enormous. What the hell is it? It's enormous. We don't want to tangle with that. Right, Bear Grylls training. So far, so good. Yes. Uh, start fire. E. Oh, hold E. F quickly. Yes, there we go. Eight hours. So if I had a stick, does that put another hour on? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So let's just grab the stick. Can I just continue to add more sticks? Add stick. Right, we've got 12 hours near as damn it worth. Right, okay, let's take this thing out here. Sorry about this, mate. I always feel bad. Killing animals like this. <laughs> uh, crab arm, crab arm, crab body. Let's get some meat on the barbie here. Uh, this one. Crab body. Pop that there. Oh, will it work? Yes, it does. Crab arm. Perfect. Crab arm. There we go. Right. Let these grill. survival when you're washed up this is just easy man. too easy <laughs> seriously though can you imagine this in real life I think there's the vast majority of ooh, of people myself included just wouldn't have a clue really um, can I eat a crab arm here uh, eat perfect so there's my stomach thing filling up there you can see let's keep that for now does it go off I don't know um, right the only other thing I wanted to do was just maybe build a little makeshift shelter if I can let's just have a quick look at that um, but yeah like I was saying there I just think you know most people really that's flashing there uh, palm tree oh right that's why um, most people, myself included, just we just wouldn't have a clue at all um, if we got in any kind of survival situation. Even in the UK, you know, you're going out foraging, you eat the wrong kind of mushroom, that's it. <laughs> you, you're gone, aren't you? Um, large stick, palm frond. Let's build a lean to shelter as well, then, shall we? Um, oh, Christ, I meant to click on it, aren't I? Lean to shelter. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll put it there away from the sea maybe keep the sea air away from us place can I just uh, can I move this oh no oh well, that's stuck there then right uh, what do I need for this then eh um, large stick and a palm frond well I've got oh they're small sticks luckily I've got these logs which is perfect palm frond Perfect. Right, let's cut this up. Get a couple of sticks with it. One, two, three, four. This feels like a real good start so far. I'm really happy with this. We can pick up this palm front too. Drop that on there. And then... Make a large stick out of this. Oh, 
Now the other thing I do need to consider here actually, uh, drop this over here. I've just thought my stone axe is at 36% and oh stone shard uh, crafting oh so I can't sharpen the axe can I then no I have to make a new one oh god right okay um, so if I need another axe let me just check this out here stone shard rope and a small stick I should probably keep an eye out for rope, I guess, really. Um, I've got a small stick. Right, I've lost my way so far with this, actually. I need another palm leaf, don't I? A couple more palm leaves. Uh, five more palm leaves. What's this? Oh, banana tree. Oh, look at that banana, banana, that's nice. Banana leaf. I'm just making my little stockpile over here as well. Gee, gee, there. Uh, this is a palm tree, let's take this one down. Perfect. Right, I'm really, really conscious now. Um, I want that coconut. Conscious of my uh, axe and how little it's got left on it. Oh, you're joking. I'm one shy. Okay. Okay. Um, take down this last one here. Arm tree. 18%, 17%. Oh, God. <laughs> 16 15 One more. Right, we've got 10% left on that axe now. Uh, I'm going to take that coconut as well. I want to keep really topped up with coconuts for water purposes as well. Perfect. Right, we've got a little shelter now too. Uh, drop that down there. Uh, I want to look the rest of the things here. Oh, six hours. That, what? Why has that happened? Right, I'm going to... Um, oops. I think everything's looking okay. I'm going to eat this. I've got orange juice. I've got bananas. Uh, I've got a couple of bananas there as well. Oh, they're coconuts, sorry. They're bananas. <laughs> um, right. I think we're probably good for a bit of exploration here now. Let's get our surroundings and see particularly what the hell that is. But also, if I see any rope as I'm going around, definitely going to grab hold of that. I guess stuff washes up on the shore. Old sofa. Crab on the ground there. There it is. Come at me. Watch what happens now with an axe in my hand. B. Or whatever it is. Ah, got you. Yes. No match for the axe. Little turtle over there. That's cute. Butterflies. Crabs. Lots of insects around. Let's try. Oh, hang on. What the hell is this? Bottled note. View note in journal. Uh, where do I go for that? Here? Gonna, oh no. Discoveries. Right. Two secs. Bottled notes. Here we go. Right. Oh wow. To whom it may concern. My name is David Carter. And I was the first mate on a cargo ship Ocean Voyager. We set sail with a full load of goods. Everything from electronics to clothing. Even some crates of exotic fruit. We were making our way across the Pacific when the storm hit. It came out of nowhere, fierce and unforgiving. The waves were like mountains and the wind howled like a banshee. We tried to steer through it, but it was no use. The ship was tossed around like a toy. 
and before we knew it, we were sinking. Packages and crates were scattered everywhere, floating away into the vast ocean. A lot of my crew didn't make it. I watched them get swallowed by the waves one by one. I still hear their screams at night. There were a few of us who managed to cling to some debris and make it to a nearby island, but it's been weeks, maybe months, and there's still no sign of rescue. It's strange. You'd think someone would have come by now. We had a distress signal, and the shipping lanes are usually busy. But it's like we've vanished from the map. We've tried everything. We've lit signal fires, spat out SOS with rocks on the beach, even tried to build a raft, but nothing works. The island is starting to feel like a prison. Food is scarce, and fresh water is running out. We've scavenged what we can, but it's not enough. The exotic fruit from the cargo is long gone, and we're left with whatever we can catch or find. I've seen some of the packages wash up on shore, random items that are no use to us, laptops with no power, designer clothes that offer no warmth, even a crate of rubber ducks. <laughs> it's almost laughable. The useless things that have survived when we're struggling to stay alive. Hope is fading. Every day is a struggle to survive, and every night is a battle against despair. I'm starting to think no one is coming for us. Maybe we've been forgotten, or there's something else going on that I can't understand. All I know is that it's getting harder to keep going. If someone finds this, please know that we tried. We fought to survive, but sometimes it feels like the ocean itself is against us. If you're reading this, maybe there's still a chance for rescue. But for me, hope is a dwindling flame, and I'm not sure how much longer I can keep it burning. Oh well. That's uh, kind of sad really, isn't it? Pretty much the exact same thing that's happened to us. Island over there, lighthouse. Thirsty, drink some clean water. Okay, well, uh, I've got my coconut, haven't I? So what can I do with that? Drag. Onto the floor. Uh, pop that away. Do I split it? Oh, God. There we go. Slice coconut. E. Oh. Uh. What the hell? Uh. Okay, try this one then. Eat. Pop that on its own and then eat that one. Oh, right, I have to just eat it. So that now is knackered really, is it? Okay. <laughs> That's giving me a lot of water though. That's really... What's this under here? National flag? <laughs> How strange. Oh, you can piss off on it. Right, let's start the climb. Up the stairs. Absolutely bizarre looking thing there. I don't know what that is. Jump up here. Oops. Something floating over there. I don't have like, any kind of zoom facility, I don't think. No. Right, I think we're looking good for uh, food so far. Good for water. I do need some rope desperately, I want 5%. I can get a new axe put together. Oh, I'm stuck on top of a hedge. Probably worth saying, although it is released on Steam now, um, for the general public to get, <laughs> if you're not a big time streamer, um, then uh, it is, like I said, it is still on early access, so there is probably going to be a number of bugs with it potentially still. Um, I'm just looking down there, if I could find uh, anything that looks like rope. We've got a post-it note here. Viewing journal. Uh, the radio tower. Hey there, stranger. Welcome to paradise, or as I call it, corporate hellscape. I'm Danny Harper, one of the unlucky souls sent here by Maud and Paul Corp to oversee some groundbreaking project. They found some kind of resource here, but they're all hush-hush about it. Sign my life away with NDAs, so I don't even know where in the world I am. Maud and Paul are a bunch of corporate assholes. They brought us here under false pretenses and kept us in the dark. Their greed and secrecy have cost lives and now we're all paying the price. Isolation, paranoia and a daily struggle to survive. That's what they've given us. I try my best to survive and find a way out, but I'm at the end of my rope. The constant struggle, the secrecy, the isolation, it's all too much. I've scattered notes throughout the island detailing my journey to this point, but I know I have no strength left to actually escape. I question my sanity and even my humanity after all this time. 
The only way out is fixing the radio tower. Problem is, the manual got underwater during a crash. Yeah, talk about luck. It's in one of the submarine wrecks near the island near some debris. Only those who are serious about escaping will bother looking for it. After you find the manual, you'll see what needs to be done to repair the tower. Gather the materials and fix it up. There's a power box on the tower that needs a key to turn it on. I'll most likely have it on me wherever I die, assuming nobody else loses it before you. It'll be on my body. Anyone who wants to do me a small favour, I've scattered around the island the notes from my diary, all of which contain a key. You'll have to find all the notes to get the cord to open the locked box. Sorry for the inconvenience, I didn't want them to have the prize. Inside is something that will greatly help your survival. Hmm, okay, so we need the cords for this. But let's try get up top here and see if we can't scout out our surroundings a bit. Oh, this is a ooh, ooh, this is a horrible way of climbing a ladder. You just kind of walk up to it and then just <laughs> just hold forward. Oh, I hate it when you don't kind of like. Don't what's wrong with that? You don't kind of like have to click to get onto the ladder. And you just ooh, do that. <laughs> Right, let's have a look around here. Island over there. Two over there. Another two there as well. We can come to this side. Oh, hang on a minute. Get that in a sec. Ah. Right, just nothingness there. As far as the eye can see. We've got one, two, three, four, five islands potentially. Including, well, six including this one. Imagine getting up here, you've survived a plane crash. Finally got a bit of shelter and then you look around and there's just nothing. Just the world. Looking pretty flat there. But that's a conversation for another time. <laughs> what we got here? Uh, e. James. James. If you're hearing this, things have taken a turn I didn't anticipate. This is your uncle Seamus. I don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. I didn't want to drag you or your mother into this mess, but life doesn't always give us a choice. The deaths, they were crushing me. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving that burden on you both, so when Mord and Paul Inc. came knocking with their offer, I took it. I knew it was risky, but I didn't know just how deep the darkness ran, the mission they sent us on. It wasn't just about research. This island, James. It's unlike anything I've ever encountered. The ruins here hold secrets that shouldn't be uncovered. Mordenpol knew that, and they sent us anyway. They sent us to... to awaken something. We were a team when we started. Trained, equipped. But this place, it's not just the elements that are hostile. It's as if the island itself is alive, testing us, preying on our fears, our regrets. One by one, I've watched my team fall. Good people, lost to something I can't even fully understand. I'm alone now, trying to keep the darkness at bay, but it's getting harder. Every step I take feels like it's pulling me deeper into the island's grasp. I've found things, James. Things that should have stayed buried. I'm not sure what Mordenpol is after anymore, but I know it's nothing good. If you're here, if you follow the breadcrumbs I left, I need you to know something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger. That I couldn't protect the people who depended on me. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you and your mother when you needed me the most. I don't know how this will end, but I have to believe there's still hope. That there's still a way to make things right. Just be careful, James. Trust your instincts and don't let this place take you too. Well, there we go. So that is his uncle that we've actually come to find. The island feels like it's alive. Getting some lost vibes off that there, potentially. Um, also, let's just take a moment and get it in the right light here. The Saini Clapman. Brilliant. <laughs> so, presumably, we are going to have to continue... Listen to tapes as we go. I'm going to grab some small sticks. I've got a sign here, which is good. Oh, I just dropped that for now. Uh, small sticks for my fire. 
cloth, metal sheet, plenty of stuff around but no rope. Um, I have just got a notification saying I'm tired there. So I might have to go and get a bit of sleep. Bug repellent, look at that. Get them hornets away from me now. Okay, very tired, you need to sleep. Let's head back over to the bed. There's another shark bobbing around there. Get our jog on. Right, I do realise as much as I maybe don't want to, I might have to kill a turtle <laughs> at some point soon for food. Oh, right, we're out with breath. Plane's still smoking away there. Hold on, that's going to be on fire for. There's the thing on the horizon still. Stalking us, maybe. Right, let's get to old bed. We've got the shelter, we've got the fire. I'm going to chuck some logs on the fire here, or some sticks. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. So it's not... Oh, that isn't real time then. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. My sanity is dangerously low as well. I'm guessing that's the little brain in the corner there. There we go, six and a half hours left. I best add some more sticks, I need to go get some sleep as well. A small stick. Why do I need manure? What can I possibly do with that? I guess I cultivate some crops or something. We'll get that far ahead. E, right. Uh, six hours. It's even six hours, guys. Okay, we're up. We've got four hours left on the fire still. Um, God, it's broad daylight. It's really, really bright now, isn't it? Uh, I need some water, so uh, eat that. And let's, let's just drop this down there for now. Eat a banana. Okay, oh, I can eat the hornets too, kind of. Right, let's go off this direction in the search for some rope, perhaps. When there's a cabinet here, I don't want to necessarily do anything with that just yet, because I do need to find the rope first. A sign here, a barrel. Oh my God, there's part of a car here wrecked car oh look at this post why is there a post-it note here of all places view note in journal that is just bizarre uh, the radio tower uh, there we go right yeah so three months on this cursed island and it feels like a lifetime modern paul's caught well, i try again modern paul caught sold as a lie what was supposed to be a straightforward resource extraction gig has turned into a descent into madness. The secrecy is suffocating. We aren't told what we're really doing here, and every move is monitored by watchful supervisors. It's like being in a prison with no walls. As a technician, my job is to keep the equipment running. No easy task given the conditions. Most of my... something? Time, I guess? Is spent on a cramped research ship or on the new platform tower they're constructing. I've only set foot on the shore a few times, and it's frustrating not to be able to enjoy the beach. When the storms aren't raging, this place looks like a paradise, a cruel joke considering our situation. There is a digit written at the end of the note, six. Okay, so that is our first digit for the lockbox, isn't it? I'll grab these sticks, uh, hang on a Oh, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Uh, right, we don't want to enter the jungle really just yet, do we? Let's uh, stick close to the shoreline, top our fire up real quick. Um, probably shouldn't sprint. I'll do it anyway. A <laughs> little bit. Plenty of logs here, which is good still. Right, 
right, let's leave that for now then. Okay, right, let's head further over this direction. Really cautious of whatever the animal was. There's two turtles there, so I don't think it's up this way. Couple of blue things here. Are these blue mushrooms? Uh, white mushroom. Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Poison. Oh, shit, I'm up. I've been poisoned. That was a Komodo dragon, isn't it? Is it Komodo? Komodo? I can't remember what it is. <laughs> oh, God. We're in the shit, though, because he's poisoned us. Uh, let's just check our discoveries. Was that my... Oh, no. I thought it was bleeding as well. Uh, poison. Probability of being poisoned. If not treated soon, it can lead to death. Oh, God. A relief. Try eating ginger. Okay, I did see a ginger tree uh, plant. Oh, no way. I need a... Whatever that icon is at the top. Let me, there we go. Yeah. Ginger. Eat. Take plenty of ginger here. Let's eat a little bit of this now. We've got rid of the poison. Take another one just to help. Uh, mm, doesn't look very good that, does it? That mushroom. Can I do No. <laughs> right, I'm going to stick with my knife here. Oh, there it is there. I'm going to have to be really careful around this. Because there's no way that I'll beat that just yet if I try and fight it. I need like a bone arrow or something maybe. Keep my distance from it. Let's run away. Right. Let's see, let's look at all the stuff here, man. Lemongrass. Could be something nice to eat, I presume. Um, check my journal about that. Oh, for tea. Nice. Thirsty, drink some clean water. Right, uh, best I've. Oh, no. Oh, right, I've got one coconut left. Right, I need some rope as, like, a matter of urgency here. I'm just trying to see clay ore. Nice. Don't want to go too deep. Sounds nice, the water. What's this? Blue mushroom. It did say in the journal it's probably not edible, so I will have to probably leave that. Oh, what the hell's this? Bronze shield. What? Rusty refrigerator. Right, carrying the shield around. I can't even use it though. I'm going to pop it down over here just to remind me that it's there, I guess. Oh, stood up. Nice. I think rope would be something that quite, is quite common to wash up on a beach, to be honest, wouldn't you? Is that seaweed? Seaweed, yeah. Cool. I'll tie you. I'll just pick it up. Can't do anything with it. Another way up to the tower there. I wonder if there's anything around the back of the tower that I might have missed. Surfboard. Bug repellent. Doing well for bug repellent. Um, have a quick look up here. Reach level 2 in stamina. Probably shouldn't sprint upstairs, really, should I? But um, it helps my stamina. Hmm. 
No, there's nothing new. This is the exact same site, a bit like place, basically. Um, just wondered if there might have been like a little cavern or cave or something that I'd missed out on the first time, you know? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh! No! Wilson! Uh, oh no. What happens if I drop this? I don't want it to crash through the floor. Um, is that going to be... Yeah, okay, just beach down there. Let's drop it and see what happens. Oh my god. Right, let's get down there. <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, hang on a minute. Can I go on there? Uh, there's something hanging off that branch. Oh, this is... Oh, this is so risky. Can I Assassin's Creed down it at the end as well? Oh, my God. Oh, what are you doing? Grab it. Oh, God. Ruby amulet. Oh, my God. Right. Very, very carefully. How the hell am I meant to... Uh, there we go. <laughs> Right, I'm just carrying this thing. Look at it. Why aren't, why aren't I wearing it? F place? Oh, no, that's not. Cancel. Yeah, maybe trying to Assassin's Creed off the end of that was a bad idea. <laughs> There's no uh, hair bale thing for me to magically land into. It says unknown times one. Is that insect again? Right, I probably need to um, figure out a way of getting some water next. Actually, that's got to be my next task. Let's head back over to our little shelter, our home. And let's make a water collector of some description. Right, guys, welcome back to the camp after... Uh, quite a while to be fair and one um food poisoning related death <laughs> requiring a reload um so we've still got the shelter here and the bed we brought wilson over with us and the little amulet that we had uh ancient lantern i found in a forest somewhere uh, can't seem to do anything with it like carry it or light it i don't know what's going on with that uh, just dropped a lot of junk here uh got some flags the bottle I could just go cloth, which I do need to make some bandages out of. We've got the fire roaring away still. Finally managed to craft a water collector, which was only possible after making this rope spinner. Um, so I add a yucca plant, hold, and it gives me a rope, which I then was able to use to make an axe, which I then used to make this. Um, so... We are pushing on, but one little achievement to show you. I managed to craft a spear and take out the Komodo dragon. And that is all that's left. Oh, I didn't know there was a piece of meat there. That'll be rotten now. Bugger. So, yeah, that is gone now. And I will show you that clip right now. Keep hitting his head. Don't let it bite me. Come on. He's, he's hightailing it. You don't get away that easy. Yes! Look at this. Komodo skin. I need some meat. It's not got any meat on it. Raw meat, yeah. Skin. That's it. One piece of meat. Oh no, two pieces of meat. There he is. Taken back over. So there we go. Anyway, uh, I also have sadly have to kill a turtle. I needed that for my water carrier thing. Um, but this is where we will leave the first video. Just watch this. I'll get there eventually. It would have been better if the first time I said watch this I got it. But anyway... Uh, we will get there <laughs> this is where we're going to leave it for today um, I've really enjoyed getting into this game 
uh, plan on making a series on it so hopefully you're enjoying it as well there is quite a lot of deforestation already sadly <laughs> that you'll see um, but yeah join me in the next one if you enjoyed it drop a like if you want to leave a comment uh, if there's anything that I've missed or anything that uh, I could be doing better let me know uh, but if you haven't already subscribed as always be extremely grateful if you uh, could do so and guys I will see you in the next one catch you then